in all fairness with the quest question of what's he gonna do stop you I mean they did try to stop us from mind reading back in um fault because they were just running from I from Ivan <laughs> so they technically did prevent him somewhat yeah this group has like two brain cells and it's they're entirely shared by Ivan and Mia it feels like just saying <laughs> All right, now I have to go on a genie hunt. All righty, it says here it is uh, west northwest of Tolby. Head west through a bridge facing north. Truck on over it and head northwestish over the other bridge. Run around and run around in this area, and you'll eventually encounter and fight this genie. That does not tell me anything. Um. So I'm gonna go back to Tolby and retrace my steps, I think. <laughs> and yeah, he character still like, like speaks for I Isaac. This is why I've always wondered how a Zelda movie would be. Like would you would you just have Navi speak for Link? Like constantly, or would you have Link talk? But yeah, back on the hyperfixation talk. I go through phases of hyperfixations, but they're kind of short phases. Um, for example, like I don't, I didn't talk about it a ton because I don't know many people who are, uh, who are also interested in this. But I went through a real phase of being really into Resident Evil uh, earlier this year after the remake came out. Um, Western Bridge facing north. Track on over it, then head northwestish over the other bridge. All right. Um, so I tend to just talk about the hyperfixations that are shared. So like, if I'm in a phase where I'm like super into Persona, I will talk about Persona. But um, I tend to not talk about my. Oh, that was easy. I tend to not talk about my interests that are not like shared with other people. That makes sense. Alright, 43, uh, 140, that's a big improvement. Talk about your hyperfixations, okay. Um, okay, I don't know how much help this has, but yeah, I'm like really excited for Resident Evil 3, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if you're telling me to talk about it, then I will talk about it. But, um, I am really excited about Resident Evil 3. Um, I just wish it wasn't coming out two weeks after Animal Crossing because I will have no time to play play it. So I'll probably pick it up in summer when it goes on sale. Like Resident Evil 2 actually. There we go, all caught up on Jin. Ginny. Uh, I want Nemesis to be uh, more scripted than Mr. X. Uh, because the original Nemesis was a tad more scripted, like he appears in set places from what I gather. Um, I can picture Nemesis being really bad, uh, or really intense, because he has a rocket launcher, so that's kinda, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> um, alright, so the next genie is in Suhala Desert, so I guess we have a ways to go. Back to Tolby then. I also just- I'm, I'm really curious to see what they do next. Like, would they actually dare attempt remake Resident Evil 4? And like, how would you remake Resident Evil 4 actually? And not just have it be the same game. It's like, it feels like it's kind of at a point where remasters are fine. But I would be interested to see what they do. So they'd probably do Zero and Code Veronica and then stop. Maybe do Resident Evil 8 at that point. And 4 with fixed camera angles, so that'd be the original prototype, I think. Ooh, hey, we finally have a Revivus Ball, thank goodness. It's only been 3,000 years, feels like. Our genie lineup is kind of a mess at the moment. Uh, I'm not gonna equip that quite yet. Yeah, um, 
Also, I have this weird complaint about Leon specifically, but I'm not the biggest fan of Leon, partly because he's literally a different character in every game. He's like, kind of... more nor a normal person in Resident Evil 2, then he becomes really snarky in Resident Evil 4, and then he's like super depressed in Resident Evil 6. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a himbo in every game, let's be real, but... He... He just doesn't feel like the same character across every game. <laughs> yeah, he goes through a midlife crisis, he's seen a lot. He's seen a lot between 2 and 6, I guess. I, I'm still a little sad that Resident Evil has been deconfirmed for Smash, because I actually would have liked going on. Um, I think something that would be cool would be um, basically like uh, who would be a good, good example? Olimar, where there's Olimar and Alf from Pikmin 3. That's another game on the stream list, by the way. Pikmin. I want to go through all three Pikmin games. Um, Chris's personality is punching boulders. Um, but I can't. I I grew up with Pikmin, so I don't personally find that bad. Um, which two have you played, by the way? But also, um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I know Pikmin Two is like the black sheep of the franchise, but I still enjoy it because I grew up with it. Um. Oh, that's right, Resident Evil. I was gonna say, I think it would have been cool to have, like, Alf and Olimar, um, and have the costumes effectively be alternate characters. So, for example, like, the default would be, like, Leon, I just bumped my controller, like, then there's a costume of, like, Chris, um, and Claire, and Ada, whatever. <laughs> Playable Knight Ashley, please no. Actually, no! That would be Leon's final smash of just summoning Ashley in knight armor and just literally hurling her at an enemy. And then Chris's variant would be he'd just throw a boulder instead. This is why I'm not allowed to design smash characters, because I have only the worst ideas. Coliseum is already full. If you really want to watch, buy a ticket from those scalpers. Oh. Oh boy. Um, that's another thing. I want to stream Resident Evil 4 next year, but that requires one, getting the game to work on my computer, and two, beating the game once so I can unlock that costume, because I do not want to do a vanilla playthrough on stream. I have a feeling it would be a nightmare. Are you Isaac, the one handpicked by Bobby? Look, I'm sorry, but we have some rules to help keep things legit. Warriors who made the finals and their team members can't play. Alright. A warrior named Isaac was selected for the finals by Bobby. Maybe I should put a little money on Bobby's special warrior. Wait, you can just go around. That's easy. Hey, you're Isaac. You're kidding, that's Isaac the one Bobby picked? Yeah, there's no mistaking it. He's Isaac for sure. He's just a kid. What does Bobby think Colossus is? A playground? Putting him in the finals is an insult to everyone who cleared the trials. How many people have faith in Bobby? Bobby wouldn't let him in, uh, into the finals just to repay a favor. I guess Bobby wouldn't let Isaac in if he weren't a good match. We've been waiting for you and your friends, Isaac. All of the Colossal participants go to the waiting room, okay? Alright, this way, please. Oh, I didn't heal. <laughs> huh? Isaac's the only one entering the finals? The warriors entered in the finals must go in alone. But why Isaac? That is what Bobby wanted. But I wanted to enter too. We aren't ex accepting any more entries. 
Oh, Master Isaac, please prepare yourself. Because all you can do is get it over with, Isaac. I know you want to enter too, Garrett, but there's nothing we can do. This is crazy, Isaac won't survive against those colossal warriors. If Isaac wants to win, he'll have to use synergy. Though Bobby does seem very interested in his synergy. Even so, how is he supposed to use it here? What did Bobby say we're supposed to do while Isaac is competing? We've made a slight exception. You can cheer him on from the so from the stage. You'll be able to see him from right up close. This is the first time it has ever been permitted. You should thank Bobby for the chance to sit in the these special seats. If everything is settled, I shall take you there. Um, Isaac can't go to there. Um, can't Isaac go to see the final stages too? I bet you want to learn as much as you can about the finals, eh, Isaac? Come on, you can make another exception, can't you? I don't see the harm in it. I can't believe Isaac is entering midway through Colossal. This is the first, totally unheard of, like I said earlier. Are we ready? I'll give you a tour of the, the arena, let's go! This is the site of the first finals battle. This is where the warriors test their battle against each other. Oh no, it's actually more than that. What else is involved? The warriors are racing to get here first and get the best equipment. So there's an advantage to getting here first? That's quite a test. That's too hard for Isaac. We must support him as well as we can. Um, why don't... Uh, don't you want to hear my explanation? Alright, then let me explain in detail. Warriors enter the finals without any equipment of their own. Please look over there. That part is the starting point of the first stage of the finals. You must get through several stages before you reach the arena. The chests along the way contain items that may be useful in battle. This is the battle arena. After getting here, the warriors do battle. You can get weapons in the arena, but one is weaker than the other, so you'll have the advantage if you get here first. Also, you can use the equipment you get here in your next match. What do you think, Isaac? Do you understand the rules for the finals? You'll notice that each stage has its own attendant. Ask the attendants for explanations of the stages. Isaac, you're a contestant in the finals. Do not forget that. I'll be right here, so come see me when you're done looking things over. Hey, where do we cheer from? Would you like to visit the stages and hear a description for each one? Yes, we'll decide whether to cheer for Isaac after hearing where to cheer for Isaac after hearing the descriptions. Alright, so I guess we get to walk around. Cool. But yeah, there was an extra like circle on the floor in the last room. It looked like it was just drawn on. It didn't even look like a perfect circle like the others. It was kind of weird. Um This is stage one of the first finals match. Would you like to hear a description of the stage? Call this the Rock Challenge. Warriors must create steps they can use to get through here. Oh, I didn't think about that. That makes total sense. This is. Oh, uh, we need another space, I guess. Warriors must use only the objects on the stage along with their own strength and wit to prepare to reach the next stage. This is stage one of the first finals match. Would you like a friend to cheer you on from here? Alright, question. What does this actually mean? Like, does this provide a benefit? Also, while you're explaining it, um, I think it'd be really funny if we got Leon, Chris, Jill, and Wesker deconfirmed, and then the Resident Evil character we got was just Ashley. I think that'd be really funny, but they're not doing that, clearly. I know rumors are to be taken with a massive pile of salt, but the current rumor is actually Cosmos from uh, Xenosaga, which is really weird. But she has technically been in two Nintendo games, Project Cross Zone and um, Xenoblade 2. Also, wait, 3, because Xenosaga 1 and 2 got remade for DS. Before you actually compete in the tournament, each of your friends are allowed one action in their stand areas. You're choosing who'd help you cheat. 
Oh, uh, this thing is easy, so I'm gonna pass on that. Stage two. Uh, water. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Pipe works. See, the water pipes are actually a form of kind of scale. Oh, and, uh, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Eh, sure. Let's have Mia. Just chill here. Mia will cheer for you? Please, this way, please. How many sections are there? There's a lot. A lot. Okay. Cool. Four. You know, <laughs> water puzzles. Uh, but there's a chest down there. They can help you meal. I think this would be a good one to help cheese. I'm gonna put Ivan here. I'm actually gonna probably end soon, because I've been going for over two hours now. Also, when I put the last person in position, um, will it automatically move me into the tournament? Because if not, if so, I might just call it here. And then try to remember to do this next time, hopefully. <laughs> not a comment on the quality. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, small section, cool. Uh, so I am going to s how did we save? It's been so long, I forgot. Uh, oops. 6.30. So yeah, uh, I think we made good time. Good progress. Not- got- didn't get too lost. So thank you for all the help, as well, in chat. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by, for subs, follows, whatever. Um, next stream will probably be... Uh, next Tuesday or Saturday. It could be this Saturday, I might push it to next Tuesday. It depends on how I'm feeling. Thursday, I'm probably gonna be watching the Game Awards. So, um, no stream, most likely. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. For the posts upload people, thank you for watching as well. And, hope to see you uh, next time for more Golden Sun, or whatever the heck I decide to stream, because as I said before, <laughs> I'm feeling kind of indecisive. We might actually do something not Golden Sun next time. We might try to pick up uh, something else. If you have any feedback of what I should play, let me know. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a good rest of the day and a good night.